Let's write the atomic orbital diagram for Krypton, that's KR. The first thing we need to do before we can write the atomic orbital diagram for Krypton, we need to write its electron configuration. So Krypton, atomic number 36, means it has 36 protons. Protons equal electrons in a neutral atom. All of these atoms on the periodic table, they're neutral. So we have 36 electrons to work with. And Krypton, that's right here on the periodic table. So we're gonna follow this pattern here until we get to Krypton and we've used all these 36 electrons. Start off in the first energy level, 1s1, 1s2, that is full. We go to the second energy level, 2s1, 2s2, and then we go over to P, 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, P holds up to six, so we get to 2p6. Third energy level, 3s2, 3p6. We're at the fourth energy level, we have 4s1, 4s2. We go to 3D, which holds up to 10, and we end up with 4P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and there's Krypton. So this is our electron configuration. Now we can write the atomic orbital diagram for Krypton. So all we're really trying to do here is show where the electrons are around the nucleus of the Krypton atom. So either with the configuration or the orbital diagram. You can think of the nucleus as right here, and then these are the energy levels. Think of them as shells around the nucleus. So let's start with 1s2. We put those in their opposite directions, 2s2, 2p6, spread them out, and then pair them up, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. Then we get to the 3d10. Again, we spread them out first and then pair them up. We're left with 4p6, and now that's full. So this is the atomic orbital diagram for Krypton. Both of these representations here, the atomic orbital diagram and the electron configuration, they're both just trying to show where the electrons are around the nucleus of the krypton atom. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.